again. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing fine and well and having a great day. Welcome if you are new. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at these Tipex Instant Apex Sculpted Acrylic Nail Tips. So this particular set is the one that comes with the nail glue and tips. I think there's a couple of different kits. There's a kit that comes with smaller amount of tips but you get the little nail lamp. You can buy the tips by themselves. Yeah, I went for the, the set that has got the most amount of tips with the nail glue. I wasn't too fussed about getting the little mini lamp and stuff because I've got loads of little mini lamps. So we're going to be taking a look at these today and these are the upgraded tips. I think they had a lot of feedback from the first tips that they brought out. Quite a lot of positive feedback, but... I think a lot of people wasn't too keen on the packaging of the nail tips and the fact that they wasn't pre-etched. So they do seem like a brand that listens to their community and the feedback because they have quickly, quickly upgraded and tweaked all the things that we all kind of, you know, gave them feedback about. So we're going to be taking a look at these today. This glue gel is a 30 gram tube. It's really big. I like the style of it as well. It just has a more premium look and premium feel to it, doesn't it? So there's the ingredients for the nail glue. If anybody wants to screenshot it, it does contain hemma. So please bear that in mind. And I like this little thin nozzle as well. Right, so I can tell by the way it's coming out. It's quite a thick glue. I love that. I do prefer a thicker glue. I like this lid so you're not going to get any leakage or anything in that lid it's actually got a little stopper I don't know if you can see it's got a little tiny stopper that goes inside this so you're not going to get any leakage whatsoever it clicks shut this has got a really really premium feel to it which actually makes me feel better about the price I was a bit iffy when I looked at the price but yeah, they have gone that extra mile using premium product, premium packaging. It all seems to be really, really well thought out so far anyway. So I'm really happy with that. So as I said, this kit just comes with the tips and the glue. So we've got four packs of tips, 500 in total. So I'm just going to open one pack because they are all the same. When these tips first came out, they wasn't pre-etched, so they've definitely pre-etched them now. Even the etching on them, I have found with a lot of these pre-etched tips, it's as though they've just put the pre-etch on there for the sake of calling them pre-etched. And you still end up having to etch them yourselves because it's just not good enough. Whereas these, they've got a real texture to them. Even the pre-etching, pre-buffing has been done really well to a high standard so we've got 12 sizes in total so let me just explain a little bit more about what these tips are so a lot of these kind of tips that say they've got a high apex or built-in apex and all that kind of thing i use them a lot for lazy girl method because for lazy girl method you you need tips that's got a nice high apex with a good amount of room to, 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 to put the polygel product inside the tip whereas these when they say instant apex they have actually got a built in apex so mm, I've seen a lot of people trying to explain these they're so difficult to explain so let me just measure the thickness on these tips right so that is the thickness of the apex on these tips that is how thick the, the acrylic is at this apex area so it's kind of been built in the the cuticle area is ex still extremely thin the tip is a little thicker the tip is about your standard thickness of most tips they're actually a really really nice shape very nice shape there's no flexibility in them whatsoever yeah, there's no flexibility in them. Even at that cuticle area, there's no flexibility in them. So I think these, this is going to be a case of these tips. They're, e they're either going to fit you or they're not. 
a lot of tips you can kind of you can kind of flatten them or pinch them or these they're either going to fit you or they're not there's not going to be much customizing you can do to them really i think you could shorten them a little bit but obviously the shorter you do them the thicker they're going to get towards that apex area because it's thick up there i'm i'm quite impressed with them i'm quite lucky as i've got flat nail beds these are quite flat so i'm hoping that these fit me okay so let me get set up we'll do a little bit of nail prep and we'll apply them i have been quite excited to try these i've seen quite a few people with them now so let me get set up and i'll be back right so i'm gonna do a quick bit of nail prep so you're gonna need to push your cuticles back and then you're gonna need to get rid of any dead skin that's on your nail bed dead skin causes lifting so make sure you get rid of any dead skin if you're comfortable with an e-file you can use an e-file for this this does take a little bit longer but Personally, I'm more comfortable doing it like this. And a couple of you asked me, a couple of you noticed my thumb in my last video. So this is what happens when I get myself into a bit of an anxious frenzy and rip my nails off. Do not rip your nails off, guys. Right, and then I'm just going to use some nippers and just nip away the white skin. Dead skin will be white. If it's pink, don't nip it. So, last little bit of nail prep before I base coat them. I'm just using a buffer and I'm just getting rid of all that natural shine. Natural nails have got a little bit of a natural shine, haven't they? Give them a really good scuff. Get them all scuffed up, scratched up, buffed up. And you'll get a lot better adhesion if they're really well scuffed up. And then I'm going to give them a nice little clean. Get rid of all the dust. If you use alcohol to clean them as well, it acts as a dehydrator. Can you see they're so dehydrated now so all they need now is a base coat but i will apply the base coat in a minute i'm just going to size these tips up oh so that was a good pick wasn't it i picked that when they had gloves on that is a good fit so you want these to fit flat sidewall to sidewall like that you don't want any gaps if you are in between sizes i would go for the bigger size and file a little bit off the edges don't ever go for the smaller size right so i'm just going to get the rest of my sizes picked out and i'll be back right so i've got my nails all sized up ready to go do you know the funny thing about these nail tips they act like a magnifying glass because they're so thick and they're curved they act like a magnifying glass can you see this <laughs> look at this i've never seen anything like these tips in my life i love it right so we're just going to finish off my nail prep i'm going to give my nails a little coat of base coat you you would really want to use a primer or a bond whatever system you use do that obviously before your base coat this middle one i was kind of in between sizes so i've sized up and i've just took a tiny little bit off right i've got my little lamp there ready to go i'm just going to leave that off to the side right so i'm going to start with my pinky i do like this tube actually it, it feels quite comfortable in my hand i like that it's got a thin nozzle and i like that the glue is a thicker consistency as well so i'm just going to put a little blob in the cuticle area of my nail tip oh i think i've put far too much in there but let's go with it so we're going to lower it we're going to press it into my cuticle area kind of at that angle and then i'm going to lower that nail tip till that gel has completely covered my natural nail and stick it straight under that lamp right so i normally just do a little flash cure 
and then I'll give them all a full cure once they go in my big lamp at the end so let's do another I did put a little bit too much glue in that pinky I don't think there's any way around that really I think it's just trial and error working out how much glue each nail needs I think I've done far too much in this one as well so press it down close to the cuticle area lower that nail tip and get it straight under that lamp yeah I put far too much in that one as well so I'm going to this middle nail now so I'm going to put a little bit less in this one so again get it close to my cuticle area lower that tip yeah still put too much <laughs> Yeah, I put far too much in that one again. Right, I'm going to get these last two stuck on off camera now, guys, and I'll be back. So, obviously, they don't need any shaping. I am just taking the little knobbly bits off the ends first. And then I like to just go around my sides and just blend them in a little bit more. I will say one thing about these tips, they're not thick at the side walls or the cuticle area but they are thicker than my regular uh, kind of full cover tips. They are thicker but they're still not thick, they still blend in seamlessly. So I'm just going to go around all my sides like that, I always like to just do a little bit of blending most people do this with an e-file but I'm quite comfortable to do it with a regular hand file if you are using a hand file round your cuticle area like this get another file and file down all your edges especially if it's a new file I like to save my old files not save them but I use old files that still work but they're quite softened for my cuticle areas like this so I've just used a buffer and I've just removed all the shine off those nail tips now. Gel won't stick to a shiny nail tip like that. And then you can use alcohol or a prep spray. Give them a really good clean. Get rid of all that dust. You don't want any dust in your gel polish design because it's so annoying. So that's them all filed, all buffed and ready for nail art. Right, so for my colours, I've pulled out these are from Madame Glam's April collection. I'll stick a picture up on the screen of the colours that came in the April collection. So I chose four colours out of the April collection. And this is also out of the April collection. This is called Ocean Pearl and it's a no white top coat. I've swatched them already. So I'll just quickly show you the colours. So we have got the core. This is kind of like a corally pinky kind of colour. These are all just one coat as well. I really like that. And then we've got honeycomb, which is like a really, really pale kind of yellow. Very pretty. Then we have got the Persian Sea. This is like a blurple. It's not quite a blue. It's not quite a purple, is it? Very pretty colour. I do like that. I like this as well, Rainforest. I'm not a green person, but I really like that kind of green. And then this is the No Wipe Top Coat Ocean Pearl. If anybody missed out on the Easter egg box this year because it was limited edition, the Easter egg box came with a very, very similar top coat to this. So if you liked that out of the Easter box but you missed out on it, this is very, very similar. Very similar. So that's the colours together there. Like I said, there was eight in this collection. I've just got five of them. Very pretty. Perfect spring colours, aren't they? Right, so for my base colour, I've pulled out one of Madame Glam's rubber bases. And this is the nude rubber base. I think this was one of the first ones they brought out, actually. I think. And I'm going to put that on all the nails. Two nice thin coats. And I'm going to cure each coat for 60 seconds.
So that's them had two coats. I've just wiped the tacky layer off. I really like the colour of this rubber base. I did think it was a little bit more sheer than that. I didn't realise it was such a creamy colour. But it's alright. I like it. Right, so I'm going to start with honeycomb. Put some of that on my palette. Now normally I like to paint on a matte nail but I don't want to add any more bulk to these nails so I've just wiped the tacky layer off I'm just going to do quite a deep smile line I just want to use this pale yellow as a little Frenchie I'm going to do my pointer exactly the same. So I'm just going to stick that in the lamp as well and I might give them a second coat. Right, so they've both had two coats now. So I'm going to use the Persian Sea, which is the purple. Let me just wipe some of this off. And on the middle two nails, I'm going to do a little bit of an ombre. I don't know why I just put that on my palette. I really don't need it on my palette. I need it on my sponge. So I'll go on my sponge first. I want a little bit of an ombre on the tips of the middle two nails. So I think I'll just do them both together. Really, really thin layers sponges put it on. So don't worry about it looking a bit sparse because you can build it up. And don't worry about the orange peel effect because your top coat covers that. So I'm just going to, oh gosh, put that on a bit thick there, didn't I? So I'm just going to stick them in the lamp and then I'm going to give them a second coat. So I'm going to go in with the second coat now and I'm just going to use the excess that's already left on that sponge. Don't need any more gel on it. So they're going to go back in the lamp now for 30 second cure. I'm going to give them a 60 second cure just to make sure. I'm not sure if I'm feeling these colours now. I'm not sure if I'm feeling these colours. I think this is going to be one of them sets that comes together right at the end. Not sure what to do on my thumb yet. But let's just go with it. Right, so I thought... I pulled these stickers out. I thought rather than hand painting loads of little flowers. And we all love anything that makes our life easier i thought these would be perfect look we've even got little cut out ones that could that could kind of come out your cuticle area like that or you could have them coming out the corner of the nail or off the side of the nail perfect so i'm going to use some of them
so I'm going to do a very similar thing on this nail I think I might just alternate some of the colors right so that's my stickers stuck on I want these matte top coated because I found these 5d stickers they do not look right with a glossy top coat i can't get them to look right anyway so i'm going to matte top coat them so i'm going to use the matte top coat but what i've found to get these 5d stickers to look right is extremely thin layer of matte top coat really really thin layer and get that matte top coat rubbed right in amongst all these little flowers should use a detailer brush to do it really I'm being a little bit lazy but just keep that layer really really thin so very very thin layer of the matte top coat I'm going to use a little detailer brush just to make sure I've got in between all them flowers and it's nice and even I did it like this last time and it looked all right it is a little bit time consuming but it's well worth it so once I've gone in between all them flowers and I've completely covered the nail I'm going to stick that in the lamp then right so that's what them two middle nails look like so I'm just going to get these other nails matte top coated and I'm going to stick a couple of little rhinestones on on the pinky and the pointer not really done anything with my thumb I would probably just do another little yellow French or a couple of the flower stickers. You could either do another of the middle nails or another of the French on your thumb. But I'm not going to bother because, yeah, you don't see them in my pictures, my thumbs. And I'll be taking these straight back off. But yeah, if I was wearing these, I'd do either another one of them or another French. Right, we'll stick them in the lamp. I was going to use some little lilac purple rhinestones but once I put them on the nail they looked a bit dark like a dark purple so I'm going to use these because they've got a nice little kind of bluey purple colour shift and I thought they'd look nice and I'm going to use a couple of my little flowers I love these So there we go guys, that is then finished. I think they turned out really, really cute. Definitely a springtime kind of set, aren't they? Perfect for this time of year. I love the apex, it's just perfect. It's not, I know some people don't like these really high, thick apex. But if you look at all these, they're actually not that thick and high. They've just got that right amount of apex, haven't they? I think that's just the right amount, especially for nails this length. I really really like them they don't feel heavy or bulky they're not thick at the tip and they feel really sturdy they're not they're not going to come off anytime soon they are solid solid tips I do like them so I'll leave a link below to this set or there'll be a link down there to the website and you can take a nosy at everything else they've got not I think you can just buy the tips by themselves I'm not quite sure but the link will be down in my description box anyway if i've got any discount codes they will be down there as well i will leave a link to the new madam glam set as well that is always down in my description box don't forget you can get 35 percent off madam glam products using my code everything will be down in my description box anyway guys that is it for today thanks for watching please remember to give the video a quick thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already 
hopefully i'll see you all back in my next one take care bye